Hey folks, it's Greg and Jana with Strange RV Tours. Today we're in Quitman, Texas, out in East Texas, and we have a real treat for you. We're going to visit Sissy Spacek's childhood home. This is going to be cool, guys. All right, guys, we're in Quitman, Texas, and we're visiting the home of celebrated actress Sissy Spacek. And the residents that are here now have asked us not to give the address out, but this is her childhood home. She lived here all the way through high school. And we're gonna start off by showing you the backyard. <laughs> Somebody's not happy to see us. But that's the backyard. That's cute. So pretty. And this home is approximately 1,800 square feet. In 2021, it sold for $240,000. And it's very well maintained. Could you imagine buying a famous celebrity's home for $240,000? Awesome. Okay, she was born here and on Christmas, okay, Christmas in 1949. So she is a Christmas baby, okay? And I talked to the, People renting the place is fine with us, you know, walking around, just don't show the address, but they have an AC guy here because the AC went out. He said he's fine with being on camera. So, but anyway, we're going to sneak around and take a look at the front too. Yeah, and this home has the original hardwood floors from when Sissy Spacek lived here. And from what we understand, the home really has not been changed much. Now the renter says her 12 year old daughter actually sleeps in Sissy Spacek's basics bedroom. This room on the corner. So that's cool to be in famous actress's bedroom. But uh, that's neat. And Sissy Spacek was nominated for Best Actress six times. She won Best Actress for her role in Coal Miner's Daughter. She also was nominated for a Grammy for that. She's been nominated. Soundtrack. Yeah, she's uh, she's been nominated for Grammys. Uh, uh, she's got a, a star on Hollywood you know, Walk of Fame. All right, this lady has done so many things, and she is so talented. Now, when she was living here in high school, she lost her brother a year older than her with leukemia. And she was a senior in high school in um, 1967. And that changed her outlook on life totally. She said she wasn't going to waste time in college. That's four years. And she wanted to really pursue her acting. But she got started at six years old doing dancing and uh, singing on a little talent show here in this area. So that she got started really young. But she went ahead and... Um, went to New York because Rip Torn is her first cousin and got her into New York and going to uh, acting Lee Strasberg's acting yeah, school yeah acting school and that's got her her big boost but mm -hmm. gave her uh, a lot of inspiration I'm sure but when she lost her brother that impacted her so much that she, she wasn't going to be scared to do anything yeah so that's pretty cool. So let's look around. Yeah, let's, well, they've got a carport here. Instead of a garage, this home has a carport. It's four bedroom, three bath. Four bedroom, three bath home. And like Janet said, this window right here was Sissy Spacek's room. You can hear the construction work going inside on the air conditioner. Yeah, I knocked at the door. The girls inside said, oh yeah, we know the history of the house. I said, oh yeah, go ahead. You know, and they just took off to go to the high school. <laughs> it's in really good shape. Huh? It is. It's a very nice home. Very nice home. Mm -hmm. 
I just can't believe that it was purchased for $240,000 with the history that it had behind it. While Sissy Spacek was living here during her senior year, she won the homecoming queen at Quitman High School. Yeah, and that's kind of eerie that the movie Carrie, that was so good. Yes. And it, that was her creepy mom and what they did to her and she got everybody back. Yeah. yeah that was, that was <laughs> Uh, I, I think else. one of my favorite films that she was in was Badlands. She came out in 1973, starred Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. It was basically the Charles Starkweather story, the, I guess, rampage serial killer who traveled up all over, I think it was Wyoming and Nebraska. And uh, along the way, he was killing people. Yeah, and that's where she met her husband, Jack Fisk, and they got married in 1974. And then they had two daughters, and her, one of her daughters is pursuing an acting and singing career also. So, that that's pretty cool. You know, um, and they're in their 40s and 30s, 1988 and 1982. So, that's the age of my girls. <laughs> There's one, two of them, the age of Tina and the age of uh, Andrea. Yeah. 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 But there's the front door. Sorry, I keep having to turn away from the front door because I don't want to get the address numbers. We put a we put a paper towel over it up there so you can't see the address. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't want people to be bothered. But I asked the girls if anybody's really come up and knock at the door and stuff. She goes, "Oh no, uh uh." And I, but we know the history of the house. And now the director of Coal Miner's Daughter actually said that she for the film coal miner's daughter it was very easy for her to adapt to the appalachian what would you call it, dialect mm -hmm. and that uh during the filming when she was away from the set she would still talk in that dialect so she wouldn't lose that dialect and then there's also a story about another film i'm not sure which one it was but a director had decided it was down to two or three actresses yeah for this role yeah. and he took Sissy Spacek out to dinner for a meeting. And during the meeting, she had a glass of wine in her hands. And he told her that she didn't get the role. Mm -hmm. Well, she was so tense or frustrated that she actually squeezed the glass so hard she broke the wine glass in her hand. And the director said, that's when I knew she was the perfect person for this role. That she had the intensity to pull this role off. So, Anyhow, We're strange good. how things happen like that. Right. With all the no nominations for awards, Grammys, Academies, yeah, I mean, she's done so much and she's so talented. You know, and she did, but she did slow down when she had her kids because that was priority. She do only a couple things a year, maybe, but still, she's she put out. She's been in everything. I can't think of a film that I've ever seen her in where mm -hmm. she wasn't a great actress. Right. But, oh, I got a whole list. You want me to give you a list? Sure. Give them a list of, of some of the films she's been in. Oh, my God. I know she was in The River with Mel Gibson. Missing, Crimes of the Heart, the In the Bedroom, Raggedy Man, JFK. Yes. She was the wife to... Um, Jim Garrison, uh, Kevin Jim Costner. Garrison. Yeah. She was the wife, and that's a big role there. Yeah. And four Christmases, the hell, the old man and the gun. Oh, I mean, seriously, uh, the thriller Bloodline on Netflix. I mean, she said so much. Hung coming on Prime Video. Uh, like she put out some of her own music, also. You know, a little bit of that, but. It, it's just amazing what she's she's done with her life. You know, um, her first recorded single was John, You Went Too Far This Time, and which was cited with John Lennon and for uh, Yoko's new cover, uh, album cover. Mm -hmm. And so they dropped her from the label. So. <laughs> but... She's been, I, I mean, seriously. She had a, a top 20 country hit also in like 1983 or something. Let me see. Um, yeah. It was like number 17 on the list. 
Best Actor, and I mean, after Carrie Rudolph, um, uh, played Pinky Rose in the, the movie Three Women. That was a different type of role. One interesting fact about Sissy Spacek is that she appeared in films that were nominated for Best Picture in four different decades, continuous decades. Starting with Coal Miner's Daughter in 1980, Missing in 1982, JFK in 1991, In the Bedroom in 2001, The Help in 2011, and she also appeared in the crime drama Deadfall in 2012. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. To go basically 40 years of your acting career and have at least one of your films nominated for Best Motion Picture in each of those decades. So her career has spanned a long time and she's had just a fantastic career. I don't know of any role, whether it's a comedy or whether it's a drama or a crime film that she was not fantastic in. And she was she had one Academy Award nominated for six of them, uh, nominated for BAFTA Awards four times won the Critic Choice Awards twice and nominated two more times, three time Emmy nominations, got three Golden Globe Awards and eight nominations, um, a Grammy nomination, Screen Actors Guild Award. I mean, she's won 42 awards at, at when this was published, I'm sure it's more now, and 94 nominations. Amazing talent amazing, amazing career mm -hmm. amazing career and Janet mentioned to me that when she got out of high school she had the opportunity to go to college but she said no she considered college a waste of time and that she only had one life to live and she wanted to live it at its best yeah that's inspiration because of the loss of her brother and rip torn got her going to New York and got her going real good up there and you know but uh, ended up residing in, I think, Virginia with her husband. They have a farm. Mm -hmm. so. I'll see if I can step back here and get you guys a little better view of the home. The, the construction guy's truck is in the way, so let's see what we can do here. This is like a nice East Texas home. Yeah, mm -hmm. Piney Woods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, onward. Yes, we're gonna run by the high school where she went to school while she was living here. As always, after we leave the location, I find the information for something that I should have mentioned while we're at the location, and that is that Sissy Spacex, the album that she was on for Coal Miner's da Daughter, charted at number 24, and also, she had an album, Hanging Up My Heart, in 1983 that was a number 17 hit on the album's chart. And it had the single, Lonely But Only For You, that reached number 15 on the country charts. All right, Clipman High School, the bulldog country here. Agricultural sciences. And actually, her dad was an ag agricultural uh, inspector. But this is where she graduated. She, she was a senior in 1967 when her brother passed from leukemia. And that's when she, she decided not to go to college. But this is the junior high and the senior high. And she was a uh, homecoming queen, you guys. So that's, that's kind of funny. But. It's pretty cool. And, you know, this is just an East Texas little town. Oh, that's pretty cute. Cute mural. Bulldogs. Student driver's ed. Driver's ed. <laughs> and you know, East Texas is big into football. You know, so there's looks like there's a stadium back there. 
but it's pretty cool to see where she went to school. And it's pretty neat. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air. Strange RV Tours is on the air.